Hello everyone, and welcome to my Days of Our Lives 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Teresa's response surprises Alex when he admits, and Lucas encounters Goldman Stefan finds Teresa eating alone in the bistro. She brags over moving into the Kiriaki Chateau with Alex, similarly as Alex is living it up in bed with Kristen at the Dimera Manor. After Alex gifts Kristen a shimmering armband, his telephone blares. Alex accepts it's Maggie asking why he's not in the workplace. However much Kristen is getting a charge out of him, she cautions EJ will jump in the event that he feels Titans defenseless. Alex isn't bothered. Once more, his telephone blares, and he understands he's late for an arrangement. He hesitantly escapes BED. I and the Montana Inn, Ava awakens alone in bed. She recoils after going over to see Lucas on a bunk close to her. At the work area, Harris eagerly deals with a PC. He says he just heard from Andrew Donovan, they deciphered the code in Clyde's book. The ISA is framing a team to follow the sellers they revealed, several whom are neighborhood. Harris is certain one of them will him to Clyde. Ava needs to go with him, however Harris rejects her. In her office, Marlena chats on the telephone to Roman. She's happy he's there for Eric at the present time and says she'll check in with him. She hangs up and looks at an outlined photograph of Jude Wright in front of her. In the D-Mara lounge room, EJ affectionately converses with Jude as he dozes in a playpen subsequent to crying throughout the evening. EJ realizes that will change as he acclimates to his new environmental factors. Likewise, he'll get a more reasonable name. Jude D-Mara doesn't work for me, he says. Not the slightest bit. Alex and Kristen stagger first floor and meet EJ's child. Alex jets off to work while Kristen gets updated on Sloan capturing Jude. I realize that lady was horrendous, yet to take a youngster. Nonetheless, she doesn't completely accept that Sloan pulled this off without help from anyone else. EJ's just handing off what he knows. He has offered the SPD his assets to find her. Kristen calls attention to that hasn't precisely helped the quest for Clyde and contemplates whether he's horrible his enchanted touch. Quiet down, Kristen, EJ grumbles. At the bistro, Teresa asks why Stefan runs a not-so-bustling eatery when he's a special Demera. He brings up his legacy has changed hands many times. He then safeguards the cafe's business, bringing up his GM quit. Ava caused everybody to feel appreciated, he's simply the cash fellow. She proposes he get another chief then, at that point. He extends to her the employment opportunity. Teresa declines. She doesn't have to work since she's with Alex at this moment. After Harris has left the inn, Ava tells a watchful Lucas he believes them should stake out the mail center for Goldman. Alex appears late for his meeting with Marlena, who notes he dropped his last couple of meetings. In the wake of relating his heartfelt past, he tells her he's back with Teresa, yet in addition seeing Kristen. He muses that Kristen is simply getting a charge out of engaging in sexual relations once more, while Teresa is for the most part keen on his cash. Marlena inquires as to why he requested that Teresa move in with him. He was attempting to help her out since she doesn't have some work. Marlena contemplates whether his deal recommends a degree of responsibility he doesn't feel. Alex didn't consider that, yet doesn't believe Teresa's anticipating anything. Marlena recommends he ask her and let her know where he's coming from. Outside a structure in Montana, Ava wears a floppy cap and shades, and Lucas wears a priest's robe. He doesn't think he mixes, however Ava figures individuals will be bound to converse with a clergyman than a rancher. She advises him to watch out for Goldman while she makes an inquiry or two inside the mail center. As Lucas paces, he in a real sense chances upon Goldman. At the point when Ava leaves the mail center, she finds Lucas controlling Goldman. He showered her with bear splash he got at the odds and ends shop. They lead her away. After gathering in the square, Alex tells Teresa he should be forthright with her. He's seeing Kristen. Shaken, she inquires, where does that leave us? Alex likes living with her, however he will not be taking out a ring at any point in the near future assuming that that is the thing she's anticipating. She pretends a light-hearted demeanor, it their great overall to guarantee him. 
she believes it's cool she doesn't need to keep relationship guidelines since they're in an open relationship. Right? He tenses and falters an unconvincing, no doubt. Stefan Demera offers Teresa a task. Days of Our Lives, DOL, spoilers demonstrate that Stefan Demera, Brandon Barish, may simply be the response to Teresa Donovan's, Emily O'Brien, petitions. Teresa has been without a task since Bella magazine was closed somewhere near Titan. Will Teresa acknowledge when Stefan requests that she deal with the bistro? Days of Our Lives spoilers Stefan Demera has a great deal for he to deal with Days of Our Lives Stefan is attempting to get his better half, Gabby Demera, Sherry Jimenez, out of jail for killing Lee Shin, ex Remington Hoffman. Stefan is additionally attempting to help Kristen Demera, Stacey Hayduke, take over as president of Demera Undertakings. The last thing Stefan needs is to be left with a cafe he had to purchase. Teresa needs a task as opposed to depending on Alex Kiriakis, Robert Scott Wilson, for help. Obviously, Maggie Kiriakis, Suzanne Rogers, will probably provide Teresa with a piece of Victor Kiriakis, John Aniston, home. Teresa might miss this open door assuming that occurs before she acknowledges Stefan's deal. DOL spoilers Teresa Donovan is a trump card Teresa might acknowledge Stefan's bid for employment. Nonetheless, Teresa is additionally restricted with Constantine Melioni's, John Capello's. Teresa helped counterfeit desk work that made Alex the beneficiary of the Kiriaki's fortune. Teresa should give Constantine cash that she gets after she weds Alex, which may not occur. Teresa might wind up in jail for her wrongdoings, in any event assuming reality emerges. Xander Cook, Paul Telfer, will figure out reality and maintain that Teresa and Constantine should pay. Teresa could bail before that ends up keeping herself out of prison. Will Teresa keep close by to take that work, or will she try it out? Days of Our Lives spoilers Teresa Donovan could purchase the bistro Maybe Teresa will utilize the cash Maggie gives to buy the eatery from Stefan and get it from him. Stefan is clueless about running a cafe and had to work it in light of Clyde Weston, James Reed. Maybe Teresa could have another beginning. On the off chance that Teresa intends to remain in Salem, she positively needs something important to keep herself above water. Might Teresa at some point purchase the bistro and remain in Salem, particularly now that her child is there too? Might Teresa and Brady at any point dark, Eric Martzolf, give things another attempt? Will Teresa at long last get a sense of ownership with herself and her child as opposed to running back to California where her folks are there to deal with her? Will Teresa at last grow up and get a sense of ownership with herself? Teresa's response surprises Alex when he admits, and Lucas encounters Goldman. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.